Hello, sort of a beer review. So today we've got a beer from Bar Bar Brew House, who are a brew pub from the United States. Where in the United States? I will tell you, Bro Brookshire, Texas. It's a can of their candy bar, not bar, bar. Uh, <laughs> sour ale with mango, banana, passion fruit, and white chocolate. So that sounds like it's going to be another one of these ridiculous uh, smoothie sours from the state. Oh, that's, does it have a jerk off here? What do you call a sheep covered in chocolate? Oh, candy bar. Yeah. There you go. Candy bar. Yeah. That's the, the punchline is the name of the beer. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, I'm sure I'll give it a little roll. It's my not my first, my second beer actually from this brewery because I did, it's from my latest brew export box and I did have a West Coast IPA they did which was very nice. But it's the first one to be reviewed on the channel from this brewery. And I know this brewery was very popular, got very popular in this country because they used to be sold by, um, what they used to be called, I can't remember the coast of their name on, Beer Bros, that's the one. Uh, who, um, so yeah, they were quite very well received. From them, um, R.I.P. to be a Bruce, unfortunately, no longer with us. A company we have lost in the sort of last year, along with many others. Um, but now, due to their popularity, uh, Brew Export have started bringing their beers over as well. So, yeah. Oh, look how thick that looks. Blimey. But I know this, these guys' smoothie sours are meant to be as crazy as anyone's. It looks it, doesn't it? Look at that. It looks like pure mango puree. It, I mean, it looks thick as anything. Bits floating in it. It looks like a smoothie, not a beer. I mean, that looks as crazy as anything I've had from like Burley Oak or uh, Ra or whoever. Drecker or anyone else who does these crazy beers. I mean, look at that. Sl really slow moving carbonation in it. No head, which hopefully means it's going to be sour. Uh, but yeah, God, it looks thick as anything. Let's go for the smell. So yeah, loads of mango. What else was in it, was it? Nice banana, passion fruit and white chocolate as well. Yeah, I'm getting lots of the mango. Maybe a bit of the passion fruit. I wouldn't say there's a huge amount of banana or white chocolate on the smell. Maybe a little bit of, maybe a little bit of the banana, actually. I don't know. It smells quite tart, it smells really tart actually. So hopefully that'll follow through on the taste. <sighs> yeah, it smells really zingy. Yeah, it smells really sour actually. Let's dive in. God, look, there's a real interesting sort of, I don't know if I can show it without spilling it, but there's sort of a weird sort of, almost like head sort of forming on it, which wasn't there before. Almost like, almost like scum on it. <laughs> scum in a pond. <laughs> Let's dive in anyway. Oh, that's lovely. That's really good. Yeah, it's thick as anything. It is, it's literally, you can get a spoon and eat this. I mean, look at the lacing on the glass, blooming heck. But, yeah. Yeah, lots of mango, lots of mango. Passion fruit as well. Kind of like a foam banana like taste. I think it has got actual fruit in it. It says malt beverage with natural flavours, interestingly, on the side. Hmm. Interesting. You usually just says I've never seen I've never seen a beer described as a malt beverage with natural flavours before. Just see if there's any ingredients. I mean, I'm assuming they'd be, because of how thick and smoothy like it is, I'm assuming that there is actual fruit in this. Not, um, and not ice cream concentrates <laughs> um, in it. I can't not say that I'm not in a Welsh accent, though. 
<laughs> thanks to another beer YouTuber who's bloody obsessed with ice cream concentrates. I think you know who he is if you watch his videos. Um. Yeah, there's a little bit of banana, but it's like, yeah, like a foam banana almost. The white chocolate, I think it's there. But I'd say it's the most subtle of the flavours. I mean, you'd expect the mango and the passion fruit to dominate. They're just bigger flavours than banana and white chocolate. You know, but yeah. They're all there and all working really well together, actually. It's slightly tart. It certainly smelt tarter than it is. It's, you, it's just really like a fruit smoothie sort of tartness, sourness. It's not like, like you know, like a face screwingly sour and all, but it is very enjoyable. And I don't know what ABV this is. I didn't, should have probably checked before I drank it. Oh, what does it say? Because not all these American beers do say the ABV. Um, yeah, I don't actually know what ABV this is. I don't think it's, I think it's like maybe five and a half or something like that. Um, I might have to edit that in to the video, but yeah, you can tell I've not done my research at all before for this one. I just assumed it would have the ABV on the can, but I know it's not the law to do that in America like it is in the UK, so... You know, I'm just yeah, definitely no ABV on there. One pint, one pint, sixteen fluid ounces. Yeah, nothing about the ABV, but yeah, I don't think it's. Oh, I'll turn out it's like twelve percent or something, but no, I think it's a lot of these uh, smoothie sours from the states are usually around five and a half, so. Well, between usually four and a half and six percent, they're not like the one more ones in the UK that tend to. You need to, have, they don't haven't quite mastered it in the UK. I don't think they're getting a body on a lower ABV sour yet, but but the ones from the States, yeah, they tend, don't tend to be too high in ABV, but it's just literally that drinking this movie, it's absolutely delicious. Yeah, I know a lot of people say it hey, when's a beer, not a beer anymore. You know, but I mean, I guess if it's made with a key, in my opinion, if it's made with the key ingredients, it's a beer. You know, beer can take many forms. You know, it doesn't have to be a multi hoppy, you know, thing. You know, you know, and when it's and it tastes brilliant, you know, great beer. So let's rate it up. So yeah, my first beer from Bar Bar on the channel. Um, yeah, a bit of another another crazy American smoothie sour. Uh, really delicious. All the flavors are there. Work really well together. The body is thick with all the C's. Um, yeah. You know, it's literally bits of fruit floating in it. It's literally a smoothie. You know, so drinkable, so really enjoyable. And <laughs> if you had a session on these, it'd be very dangerous because it drinks so easily. Um, but yeah, let's. I'll give this a. Not a lot wrong with it, and it's very tasty. It's. I'm going to give this a. 4.75 out of 5. Uh, so yeah, I think I'll give, that, I'll, I'll, I'll give that a score to so many beers I review. I think I've, I've sort of got a bit of 5 shy recently, I think. <laughs> so yeah, and thank you for watching. This has been the review of Candy Bar, Mango, Banana, Passion Fruit and White Chocolate Edition by Bar Bar Brew House. Sorry, Candy Bar. Not candy bar. <laughs> um, please drop us your thoughts below, give us a like, subscribe if you haven't already, click that like to be alerted of all future videos and hopefully we'll see you on the next one. Cheers.